Hey, this is Paul from Polyverse Music, and welcome to a walkthrough tutorial of Infected Mushrooms Gatekeeper. Gatekeeper is a volume modulator capable of producing sequenced volume patterns, MIDI gates, stutter effects, pseudo sidechain effects, plan dynamics, creative gain clipping, and much more. Installing Gatekeeper is simple. Just run the installer and follow the on screen instructions. When you launch Gatekeeper in your DAW for the first time, you'll be prompted to authenticate it. Drag your license key file onto the plugin, and you'll be good to go. You can load Gatekeeper as a regular insert effect or as an instrument. Let's start by using it as a regular insert effect. Gatekeeper comes with lots of presets for you to choose from. Click the arrows to browse back and forth between the presets, but for now, let's load the init patch. Gatekeeper has eight envelopes that are available to you. You can select them individually using the envelope selector and then turn them on or off using the enable disable button. If you're editing a multi-envelope preset and would like to see the other envelopes while you're editing, click on the eye icon to show all envelopes. This is the envelope control surface, also called the grid. Here is where you'll draw your automation curves. Clicking and dragging over a segment will create a new node. Double clicking anywhere on the background will also create a new node. To delete a node, double click on it or select it and hit delete on your keyboard. To move a node around, simply click and drag. You can select more than one node by clicking and dragging over the grid with the edit tool or by pressing shift while clicking individual nodes. To change the curve of a segment, right click and drag in Windows or control click and drag on Mac. Each segment is tied to the node next to it when selected. Gatekeeper has a special boost feature that amplifies the boosted node by a fold of 10, which is quite a lot. To boost a point, right-click on a node and select Boost, or select the node and hit B on your keyboard. When boosting a point, in many cases it's useful to use your clip or saturation algorithms in order to tame those volume spikes. To turn on clip mode, click this icon once. Click it again to switch to soft clip or saturation mode, and click it one more time to switch clip mode off. Use the input volume to drive the saturation algorithms, and the output volume to scale them post-saturation. To zoom and scroll on the grid, right-click the background of the envelope and drag, or use your mouse wheel or trackpad scrolling gestures. To get an optimal view of your entire envelope, use the keyboard shortcut O. When several nodes are selected, you can move them around or delete them by pressing the delete key. To scale the points, click shift before you drag. To copy, hit C, and to paste, hit V. You can load an envelope from another preset by right-clicking and selecting Load Envelope. Then, select the preset and the number of the envelope you'd like to load. Only enabled envelopes are available in the menu. The Paint tool has a selection of 30 brush patterns, one pencil, and four user slots to store custom brush patterns you've created. To create your own brush, Copy several nodes of your envelope, up to 8 nodes per brush. The shape you've copied will automatically appear as a brush in one of the four custom slots. Simply select it and use it as you would any other brush. Please note that the brush will always conform to the grid. The grid value can be set by clicking and dragging the grid control up or down. If you're feeling adventurous, you can double click to enter any grid division you'd like. T makes a triplet grid. D is for dotted. A grid swing is also available. When in edit mode, snap will snap the nodes to the grid lines as you edit. If you prefer to work with a smooth range of resolution, just turn snap off. To quantize nodes to the grid, select the nodes and use keyboard shortcut Q. To quickly delete points, use the eraser tool by clicking and dragging on the grid surface. The autoplay button triggers the envelope automatically. When autoplay is off, you can trigger the envelope with a MIDI note or the trigger button. Envelope mode nudges the rest of the envelope when you move a note, just like a normal ADSR would behave. With envelope mode off, all the points stay in place and behave as you would expect while automation editing or editing an LFO. Sustain loop is especially useful when using MIDI. 
When you play a MIDI note to trigger an envelope, Gatekeeper will start from the beginning of the envelope, play through to the sustained loop area, and will then loop until you release your note. At that point, it will continue to play the rest of the envelope. This allows the creation of a sustain stage when using MIDI, but it will also confine the loop boundaries when autoplay is on. To adjust the sustain loop area, simply drag the loop start or end points to the desired nodes. You can also right-click and select Loop Start or Loop End. Since Gatekeeper can transition from one stage to the next within a sample, your envelope may end up being faster than your incoming audio, creating unwanted clicks. The Smooth parameter slows the envelope down a bit and eases its transition, allowing you to fine-tune smoother envelopes for bass lines or sharper for harmonic-rich content or precise transient shaping. This all helps keep your envelope sounding as punchy and tight as possible without introducing those problematic pops or clicks. Time allows you to change the envelope speed from 10 times faster to 10 times slower. You can double-click the value to enter any ratio you want. Amp can change the individual envelope's volume, and Pan can pan it from left to right. The time, amplitude, and panning parameters can be modulated using MIDI input. Click the row of icons here to open the MIDI modulation control panel. You can then use note velocity or note pitch to modulate the time, amp, and pan parameters each time the envelope is triggered. Random will modulate the parameter to a random value within your defined range, and Alt will alternate the parameter between the maximum and minimum setting of whichever parameter it affects. In this example, I'm using the note velocity to control the volume of the envelope. And now, I'm alternating the panning each time I press a note. When autoplay is engaged, only random and alt are available, and they occur at the beginning of each loop. To avoid clicks, Gatekeeper uses the length of your envelope's first segment to smooth the transition between the modulated positions. If you wish this transition to occur instantly, simply add another node at time zero. To trigger different envelopes with different MIDI notes, use the MIDI Learn button. Click on the MIDI Learn button. When it turns red, it's ready to learn whatever MIDI notes you play. Play your desired notes and click the MIDI Learn button again to exit Learn mode. Now, the envelope will only respond to the notes you have recorded. Clicking the MIDI Learn button again will clear all learned notes and the envelopes will go back to responding to all MIDI input. In this example, I have different envelopes assigned to different keys. The C key triggers a 16th note loop, the D key triggers a dotted eighth note loop, and the E key triggers a loop of a measure. I can combine them to create interesting patterns like this. We also have a small but useful ping pong tempo delay. You can set the mix between wet and dry, set the time of the delay, and set the amount of feedback too. To turn it off, just double-click the wet parameter or drag it to zero. It's also possible to automate nodes by right-clicking a node and selecting Automate. Right-clicking on it again will reveal the automation slot to which it has been assigned. In this case, slot 1. Now I can see the time, amplitude, and curve changes of my nodes in the automation parameters Auto 1 Amp, Auto 1 Time, and Auto 1 Curve. Clicking on the assignment again will remove it. Finally, if you're a modular enthusiast, you can output CV from Gatekeeper to control your synthesizers. You can choose from a unipolar signal ranging from 0 to 1, or a bipolar signal ranging from negative 1 to 1. Okay, that's everything. Now go click some buttons, tweak some knobs, and have fun making amazing music with Gatekeeper. As always, if you have any questions about using the plugin, get in touch with us at polyversemusic.com support. Thanks for watching.